Hello, my name is Jonas Bleden and I'm here representing myself and Mr. Martin Duvenbol. So Duvenbol is uh, the um, fusion of our two last names. Uh, I'm not much of a PowerPoint guy. Uh, we focused on, and I'm not much of a Mac guy either. Uh, we focused on working code for a little project we call geo, -tr no, not geo trashing. That's, and the joke is gone. Uh, time mash. <laughs> really, geo trashing? No, no, uh, not really. Time mash. Uh, the idea was uh, to call it time machine, but that felt uh, really old. So we shortened it down. It became time mash, and it's it's a three parter. It's a mobile app for Android. It's a back-end solution, and it's a website. Unfortunately, uh, we will not be able to demo it on this Macintosh, but we have two working copies uh, out in the audience, so please feel free to disturb my uh, fellow uh, colleague, uh, Mr. Johan Karlström, uh, in the back, and the other developer, uh, Martin Duvenborg. Uh, so I will just show you a couple of hideous um, slides. So what is Time Mash? Well, it's a fully working mobile search engine. We allow you to, in a very fancy, if I may say so myself, uh, GUID, to search for objects within a map screen. You can filter the data, you can uh, pick out data, and you can select the data. You can zoom in. Uh, at the location you, uh, where you're, uh, for some reason, interested in Denmark, Holland, uh, Flen, which is a small town in uh, central Sweden, you can center on your uh, your own position. You can uh, make a search there, and you can filter the data and you can work with it. You can also do a search using a search term and get the result as a list. So you have the two choices, and you can page through these endless um, lists of 12 objects, and you can uh, see one presentation, a detail of the, um, the actual object. Uh, all this is working code. Uh, we will show you uh, hopefully later. But what, what's the fun part with Time Mash? Well, you can, as seen on the... Uh, slide before, you can capture an image. You can uh, visit this location, which I believe is in Visby, a, on an island called Gotland, out in the Baltic Sea. You can visit this location in the harbor. You can uh, take your camera, slide, um, slide your camera image in and out to so fade this old picture over the, uh, uh, the camera's output. You can focus and you can snap a shot. So you, you, can, you can get a picture what this place looks like now and what it looked like uh, back in the early 1920s or something. And you can show it in the application. This is a picture we took earlier uh, of the 1960s uh, changing of the guards at the castle and the 2011 not changing of the guards at the castle. Um, well, and that's pretty much it. We had uh, our intent was to have a live demo. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, emulator doesn't work uh, that well uh, on a Mac, so we won't do that. Uh, we are the last presentation, so I believe we have a few minutes. You, so please bother Martin. He will show you. Yeah, yeah, sure. And we also got the code up at um, this URL. We would like to uh, submit it to uh, market within the hour if we get permission from the European representative. The code is up and running, and we need an hour to get it up to Android market. And that's pretty much it. Thank you.